Hello and welcome to Managing View References with ID8 BIMLINK for Revit. Hello, this is Glynis Patterson of ID8 Software. In this video, we're going to take a look at view references. View references are elements that have been added to ID8 BIMLINK starting in July of 2015. And we're going to take a look at why you might care about view references. Um, as you may recall, a view reference is an element like the one I'm selecting here. It can be a section marker, it can be a callout marker, um, but what makes it a view reference is instead of showing you what's at that 3D condition, um, you are given the opportunity to instead refer to an existing detail or, or other view. Um, so here in this elevation, we, we have this reference marker, this section reference marker that's in turn referring to the steel plate, and, and that's the view that's over here. Um, you can see this section marker over here, which is in a different elevation, the, the WA elevation here. It's referring to the exact same detail. Um, and that's great. Uh, there may be, though, uh, instances where you need to make changes to those, and that's where BIMLINK comes in. Um, with BIMLINK, you can now export out a list of all these view references, and review what they're referring to, make sure that uh, you know a cross-section through a storefront doesn't instead point to a detail that is actually a fire hydrant. Um, you can also use it as a way to change um, a whole bunch of view references to a specific, you know, from one view to another. So let's take a look at how you can do that. Um, the best way to look at all these kinds of tasks is to use our sample links. If you haven't tried our sample links yet, you might want to give it a try. Um, here, by default, you'll see that um, all of the sample links, including those in the subfolders, are listed. So it's a pretty long list. Um, you can also uncheck that. At the top here, then we, we're going to see examples that are um, that are common to all BIMLINK users, um, sort of general general purpose information and tasks. For example, if you need more discipline specific tasks um, or um, ones that maybe relate to project standards or construction, for example, you can just pick these. Um, these subfolders and only look at those. So at the root here again you're going to see these common tasks and we're going to use this one called view references. Within this view reference link what we're doing is we're aggregating um, certain kinds of data that you might need for this task of making changes to the referenced view. Uh, we're also importantly filtering out uh, on a property that um, makes sure that we're only pulling those that in fact do reference another view, not the section markers themselves, but the ones that refer to a detail view typically. So once you um, load that sample link, you can also modify it if you want. Uh, you can go ahead and export that. And you can see that I've already done that. So I'll make a new one here. And we'll go ahead and open it up. And here we are going to take that steel plate detail, that's the one we were looking at, and just to make this really simple for myself, I'm just going to copy an existing one just to show you sort of how this works. So I could take all those steel plate ones and say instead really they should have referred to this other detail. Um, and you can, the way this works is you can, you can copy and paste as I've done. Um, you can also do it without the number there. So if this was deleted, um, this will also work. So I'll go ahead and hit save. Don't need that. And we'll go ahead and import. And you can see from the import, of course, up top, the items in yellow are the ones that we're actually changing. And then down below, you can, you can gather the specifics. And you can see there, the, even the one without the actual number is going to work here for us. Oh, I changed one I didn't. And we'll go ahead and close. And you can see when we import, um, it, it, it changed the number there. So it knows that both of these now go to, to 5A52, which will open that one, and that's the sunscreen. So um, 
if that's something that you need to do, please uh, give it a try and let us know what you think. Also, if you want to learn more about what's new in Vimlink, uh, one of the best ways to do that is to go to our help file. And under the getting started, you'll always find the what's new. There's a lot of new improvements here. Uh, too many to cover here, but uh, take a look and I'm sure you will find some great new value there. Thanks and have a great day. Thanks for watching Managing View References. You can learn more about ID8 BIMLink at id8software.com forward slash id8 BIMLink.